Yeah. He's been called the trash hero of Uptown, plucking around 6,000 gallons of trash from Minneapolis streets and waterways over the last couple of years. And as Courtney Godfrey explains tonight, he's recruiting others to come out and join him. Yeah, there's a little piece of trash. Armed with a trash picker and bucket. Just lighter. Neighborhood nicer. His dog Shiner by his side. <laughs> he doesn't really pick up trash. He's more in management. Henry Labonta weaves through his East Isles neighborhood. Ugh, look at all that stuff. Picking garbage. Yeah. Off the street. I just don't like to live in a trashy area, so I'm doing something. <laughs> I told you, man. It's always a glass come to the rescue, man. Man. <laughs> Mm. Man, listen, man. How, how, how explain this? Huh? Yeah. How, how, how explain this for explain this to us right now, but I'm, uh, I'm afraid I'm lacking the the ability. DNA. DNA, man. This is DNA right here, man. I see this every day. This is DNA. Yeah, they they can't help it. And and here's the thing. Those people will still accuse him of racism like they'll say why are you picking up trash over here like what what what, what, yeah. what you trying to say what you trying to Talk say to me dirty yeah. shit yeah. <laughs> he'll still get killed in a carjacking or killed in a robbery not this this in no way helps him avoid anything like he doesn't this that's the sad part about like if he got like just a little bit of like cover or a break from some sun rays from this like he gets nothing it's it's zero you get for this it's like he, back in the day it probably do it meant something but now that means nothing when, like you said when would it mean something when, right. when would he get something for this when what are you talking I mean, about when i mean he might get a straight bullet and he's like Exactly, he he might get robbed. What are you doing this? No, 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 no. I said, back, no, I said back back in the days, like it was like you recognize this type of shit. Now nobody give a fuck about this type of shit. Like, so what? He's just fucking white cracker cleaning up, fucking the, the neighborhood type of shit. Uh, trashy area. So I'm doing something about it. He's known as the trash hero of Uptown. And in the three years since he moved here, he's made it his mission to clean up the chain of lakes he so enjoys. He's just showing people that you don't have to wait for someone to tell you to do it or ask you to do it. You can just go out and take care of this place that we love together. He even takes cleanup to the water in his waders and very often in his kayak, pulling out this assortment of junk during an outing on Lake of the Isle. <laughs> That ain't, that probably ain't no Sun Man junk, honestly. And the reason why I said back oh, yeah. in the days, because you remember like Smokey the Bear and it was commercials showing you like people cleaning up the neighborhoods and littering and shit. Like now they don't give a fuck about this type of shit, man. Now it's some dude called Smoke robbing you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it. Listen, man, if it wasn't. Dude, if if we, if you guys didn't have to deal with us, man, think about all this. Think about what that guy could do if he didn't have to do that. You know what well, I'm saying? Like, well, it's like the manny's monkey always said, right? Condos on the moon. Well, you know, when he gets done with this, he's got uh, some migrants in the Mediterranean. He needs to be fishing out. <laughs> snap, snap, get to it. <laughs> now, if he wasn't doing this, he'd probably be helping like those people on the boats and shit. He right. wasn't on the boats if he wasn't Yo. doing shit. Yo, what what Kobe say? I job not done. Yeah, it's you, never man. done. The the glider man's burden is, is never alleviated. Wow. Yo, but this glider I is up to the task though, and we all know it. That's true. Like he will, he he'll, he'll try it. Like he'll he'll try it. He'll give it his all. And he and, and it's just like you can't. Like you can't fix that. Like they're they're just gonna do that. That's just what they're gonna do, man. Um, and then people are gonna take advantage of them. That's the part. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not the part that they're doing. It's the fact that people are gonna be ungrateful and take and, advantage. And like of 
a subset of gliders had to fight other gliders so that we could have some sort of environmental control in this country. Like, and, and that's one thing. If you look in everywhere else where there's pretty much, you know, no gliders, that's one thing that is completely lacking. Like, you just everybody just shits and throws everything to the fucking river, you know, and then drinks fracking and shit. Like gliders, that's a big thing in Pennsylvania. Fracking, like well, I'm talking about, like you know, com- factories can't just fucking dump all their waste into like you know the drinking water of the town and that kind of thing. There's like laws to prevent that. Some of that, you know, maybe in excess is too far, but regulations to some degree, I think, you know, are obviously needed. Mm, 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 man, I tell you, man. Um, Yo, but I would still make the argument, I that this glider we just saw is a part of the problem. Yeah. He definitely is, man. Um, because if you if something, we'll, we'll think about it. We'll think. I, I can't think of a fan how he's a part of the problem. We'll we'll, we'll we'll create something for him. Something well, no, no, because think about it. Think about it. These liberal gliders not only enable the behavior, but they damn near cause it, right? You know what I'm trying to say. Oh, his voting policies. That's what you're talking about, yeah. like how he votes. His, and, oh, his yeah. voting, the way he thinks, yeah. the way, like, yeah. it's like, stop stop encouraging it. Um, He's the kind of guy that wants these Venezuelans here. If they you wanted know? a methadone clinic, no, well, not in his neighborhood, but if, if they were proposing a methadone clinic in the neighboring neighborhood where a fucking bunch of junkies going to be hanging out all day and drug dealers going to be milling around, he would sign up for that if there was going to be like a housing low-income housing in the next neighborhood over yeah he would he would sign up for that yeah he, he would sign up for everything that creates litter and trash then very often in his kayak pulling out this assortment of junk during an outing on lake of the isles just a few weeks ago making trash cleanup part of his daily routine. I think I was sick once and I actually hurt myself once, and uh, but otherwise I go out all the time. Minnesota organization Upstream recently honored him with the Unsung Caretaker Award as he even cleans and clears the storm drains he passes. You know, I actually... <laughs> hi ho, hi ho. <laughs> And you go to Jackson. Can't keep this glider down. Remember Jackson? The potholes? All too and well. The, people, the pothole will be the size. The pothole will go from the fucking size of a fucking cup to the size of a goddamn small lake. And the sun people will just watch its progress from, from, from the size of a fucking golf. <laughs> because the two contracting companies are too petty to do anything about it. Yeah, no sun man will go to fucking Home Depot and get a a bag of asphalt for four bucks and, and patch it up while it's the size of a, a, a golf hole. They'll just watch it slowly, slowly get bigger and bigger and, bigger and say, hey, the city, it, 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 it cry about the mayor or some shit or the city council. Just a d- d- DNA, man, we're just different, man. Even cleans and clears the storm drains he passes. You know, I this man is working so damn hard. Once. <laughs> Bringing the neighborhood together once a month for an organized cleanup. He's a good demonstration of this Minnesota spirit of we love this place and we're going to take care of it. And hoping to encourage others to do the same. Maybe people see me, see what I'm doing and be motivated to do something in their neighborhood. Henry was recently granted $5,000 from the Mississippi Watershed Management Organization, which he's using to purchase and hand out trash pickers to his neighbors. In Minneapolis, Courtney got- Let's Take a vacation with that 5,000. <laughs> but, but you know, the world would be a better place if everybody was like this glider, but we know that's not the case. The world would be a better place if Five percent of the people will like this glad. Mm. You know, everybody don't have to be like that. You just need um you that's what gliders that's how gliders conquer the world. Every glider ain't fucking got an IQ of 130 or some shit like that. Every glider ain't fucking industrious. Every glider or a soldier a warrior. Every glider ain't fucking um the it, a conqueror. It, 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 they got enough in their populations, they got enough people at that fucking um, mental er- status to create a society. You don't have to have every single person. Godfrey, Fox 9. Yeah.